How'd you like to see our routine? Oh, love to. Milk, milk, lemonade. Round the corner, punch is made. Jesus Christ. Did you like it, Sheriff? Honestly? It sucks. Dark! Big Sheriff is dark! I love him. You can't have the Sheriff beef, Tina. He's too old for you. I don't care. I want him. He's mine. Hey, how's it going? Mr. Parker here to do another review for R Squared Films uh, from MVD. Uh, this one is uh, Bloodshed. Uh, I had seen this one uh, kind of floating around a bit, and I didn't get a chance to watch it. I thought it looked like it could be a lot of fun, and uh, you know what? It was a lot of fun. Uh, when I was watching this, uh, well, I want to say something first. Of course, it's kind of like your inbred cannibal redneck type deal, TCM, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But I started watching the special features, and everything I was going to say in this review, almost, they said in the special features about the movie. Like, I was thinking it's very highly influenced by Mother's Day. Uh, boom, the director said it. I also said it was very influenced by John Waters. Boom, the director, I met one of the actors said it. That's just what it really felt like. It felt like a, you know, like a, in, like, bred redneck zombie. Like, not, not zombie, but so used to saying redneck zombies either, but inbred family cannibal movie thing mixed with John Waters and also had that New Jersey feel like a Nathan Skiff movie or something like Weasels Rip My Flesh with the over the top silly gore type deal. No! I know! Let's play a game! Tug Uh, anyways, what we get here is uh, a family of inbred rat cannibals. You got your typical characters: Paw, Hubcap, Butternut, Snowcakes, and of course Beef Tina, who's also the director. It's a guy here uh, in like this crazy outfit. Uh, does amazing in it. Uh, really funny. I thought that she stole the show, or he stole the show. The character of her stole the show. Beef Tina. Uh, she opens up carrying, uh, dragging along a little like the four mutated squirrel on like a scooter, or like a. Uh, Deformed skateboard called Flapjack. Roadkill on a skateboard. Pretty crazy right there. Anyways, uh, that sets the mood for her character. She's just kind of like a 12-year-old. A oh, somebody who thinks they're 12. All the kids think they're very young, but they're really like 40s. And they're really old. And they think they're young. And she's just prancing around in this like crazy outfit, uh, acting like a 12-year-old girl who uh, wants to be pretty and all sorts and things. And the other kids are making fun of her and stuff like that. Of course, it's not long before these uh, this clan gets himself in trouble, where they rip a kid in half. Uh, cheesy gore effects reminded me of the New Jersey type films like that. Like I said, uh, Weasel Sort My Flesh or something like that. And uh, they ended up hiding it in the bloodshed, where they hide a whole bunch of horrible things in the bloodshed. Hence the title. Originally, this movie, uh, I thought it, I thought it was uh, kind of like it would have been better as a short. And Watching the special features, I thought they said it was supposed to originally be a short. Uh, I thought that it seemed like a couple scenes were missing here and there. Maybe that uh, it was originally supposed to be 35 minutes. The movie was very short, 73 minutes, so it kept it short and sweet anyways. Uh, the characters are all really goofy and silly, and uh, it looked like they had a lot of fun on the set. Uh, this DVD's packed with features, which uh, are very educational about it. Originally, Maggot was attached to help. This is supposed to be like post supposed to be part of his horror anthology or one horror anthology he was involved with. Uh, either way, I was actually really happy with it. It's just a short little movie. It has a couple of uh, decent gore effects. Also, it has the guy from Zombies Anonymous in it. He plays uh, Butternut, plays one of the inbreds. Uh, he does well. Uh, it's a small little movie with uh, a pretty good reward for what it is. It's worth the purchase, or at least a rental. I thought, like I said, some of the scenes seem to go into other scenes. Basically, uh, you know, after that, uh, a cop comes looking for him, for the kid, and... 
they get in trouble and they end up messing up the cop. And then, uh, you know, because it's uh, Beef Tina's birthday coming up, she gets whatever she wants. And anyways, uh, all these type of these inbred type classic movies end with a big party, a Texas Chainsaw, or like a diner, like a dinner. Uh, mom and dad and even loved ones ends as some sort of a prom. But uh, anything with inbred redneck families kind of have like the climactic scene at like a dinner table of insanity. And this one's no different. Uh, <laughs> You know, Miss Faith, I'm awful sweet on you. You sure you ain't got a little bullion in you? Because if you don't, uh, we can fix that, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, don't be jealous. What happens in the shed stays in the shed. <laughs> Get him, Grandma! <laughs> The scene is pretty cool. At one point, one of the characters, uh, I'm kind of spoiling, not, I'm trying not to, comes out of the cage and sees everything, and that's the kind of uh, idea you just get, wow, this is all this crazy crap going on, and it's kind of mind-bending, and she freaks out. Who wouldn't freak out? But uh, I thought one of the really funny scenes was that uh, Beef Tina actually gets to go to, uh, uh, what is it, uh, like a, a model school, yeah. And uh, right when they see her, uh, the lady's like, oh, crap, this lady looks ridiculous. But uh, she sees she has cash. So one of the other ladies says, well, let her in. And, of course, while taking pictures, they start making fun of her. And uh, the other family notices, and they come out of nowhere, and uh, kind of like a cutting everything up, and kind of like a basket case three getting revenge type deal about the freaks being picked on, finally turning, uh, you know, the page on the other people, or turning the uh, tables. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's a pretty decent flick. Uh it's nothing super amazing or, like, horribly disgusting. I know with Maggot's name attached to it, people are going to think Mortem, August Underground Mortem, and just, like, bleh, puking everywhere and stuff like that. No, it's just a fun little, like, kind of, like, a homage to, like, those inbred cannibal films, like Mother's Day especially, I thought, and Texas Chainsaw and stuff like that. Now, it's not as serious as uh, Texas Chainsaw. It is a little goofy. It is a little, it's fun, but... uh yeah, I thought it was pretty decent, and I thought uh, Beef Tina stole the show, and I thought for a little independent movie, it was pretty good, and I thought the DVD release had a lot of uh, good features in there, there was tons of casting, uh, like, crew interviews, uh, like, hour worth or something ridiculous like that, 30 minutes behind the scenes, another 13 minute documentary, so if you like the movie, the DVD release is packed with stuff that you will enjoy, and, uh, yeah, I thought it was uh, all around a pretty decent movie, and I thought it was worth your time, uh, especially if you like those kind of uh, crazy killer family movies, and I know most horror fans do. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Lights! Okay, now, just stand there and look pretty. All right, darling. You ready for stardom? <laughs> yes, Mr. Jeffrey. Don't dream it. Be it. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Get her big, fat chin. Oh. Oh God, look at her sandy boot. Oh I am not gonna believe this is Oh my God. Oh, just look at that face. That's just so hideous. Nice cellulite. I she's in the room with the kennel club. That's it, baby. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me, Vincent. Like a Turn dog around. That's it, darling. Come on. Oh, Joker. That's good. That's She's Vicky so Miles. beautiful. Oh, <laughs> 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 Roll over, BT. <laughs> <laughs>